Hey everybody, Brent Touchstone here with Touchstone Pixels, where we talk about everything photography. If you're new to the channel, please hit that like and subscribe button. And i uh, got a special video for you guys today. Didn't really get out and shoot any new content this weekend because I was doing car repairs. But uh, I'm going to share with you guys some of my very early images. Talk a little bit about gear, when it matters, when it doesn't. And... Uh, dive into a couple lessons from my early days in photography. So before moving to Colorado, I used to shoot a lot in Washington, specifically outside of Bellingham, traveling up to Mount Baker. Uh, here we go. We got an image of Mount Baker. I shot this one at dark from the parking lot at the top uh, Long exposure Basically, I didn't want to stop shooting. I was real new in the photography and I just Kept trying to change my settings where I could still get a picture of the mountain and I ended up learning about long exposure photography and the longer I shot the more the clouds blurred and gave that kind of streaking coming over the mountain and I thought it was pretty cool. And I guess it is. It's not a perfect image. I see some spots from my sensor here where I probably hadn't cleaned it right. It's got a little bit of noise. But you know, I had fun and I learned something. There's another spot up there, Picture Lake. This is a famous photography spot. Tons of photographers visit it. It's known for having really good reflections of Mount Baker, but it can get busy. I was lucky enough to go there during the week a few times because I live so close, have it all to myself. But on this particular day, I wanted to shoot it for sunset. It was a weekend. I was hoping to get lucky, but I headed out there and it was packed. I mean, shoulder to shoulder. I don't think I could have got a tripod in there. So I pretty much gave up on that image. Heading on up the mountain. I was dinking around. I shot some images of Tabletop Mountain. Still some of my favorite. I still really like them. But I was bummed that I wasn't going to get my reflection. That was the whole point of going up there. So I kind of wandered off the beaten path a little bit, looked around, and I came across this spot that I dubbed Photo Pond. And it was a couple hours before sunset when I got there. And I was, I knew, I knew I wanted to come back to this spot. So I wandered around some more and just kind of dinking around and eventually came back here hoping to be the only one. At first I was. I set up my tripod and then uh, another guy showed up. Still remember his name, Sean Bagshaw. He was another photographer and we ended up with this scene all to ourselves, just the two of us for the whole evening. And he gave me some pointers. I was kind of jealous of his gear, you know, I think he is on a 5D Mark II, shooting with Canon L-Series wide lens. And, you know, I kind of pointed that out. I was like, I wish I had some gear like that. And he told me, you know, it really doesn't matter. He said, that camera you got there is just fine. This was seven years ago. I was shooting on a Canon T3i. And he said, that lens you got is probably just fine. He said, yeah, you could do a little better, but the cameras and lenses that are coming out these days, they shoot great pictures, so don't worry about it. And I kind of, you know, eh, he's just trying to make me feel better. And we went on, we shot our images. I followed him when he got back home on Facebook, checked out his stuff, and I saw his image when he shared it. And it was real close to mine. And I was feeling pretty good about it. You know, I was really happy with this image, being a new photographer. And, you know, I thought, hey, he's right. It don't matter. Gear don't matter at all. And it is a good image, but in truth, gear does matter to some extent, but not to as much as you might think. So I'm going to take you guys in here. Uh, one thing, I shot with an ISO, I think of about 400, so it's got some noise. Whereas if I had a full frame camera, uh, that wouldn't have happened, but it doesn't bother me that much. I can go in, I can do noise reduction. But what I really noticed is the color fringing, chromatic aberration. If you look here, you got these weird blues, 
greens, purples. It's really pronounced in some of the reflections in the water. So while well, the details there for the most part and I'm happy with that. I don't share this image a lot just because of those chromatic aberrations, uh, all the discoloring and the rocks in the foreground. Just really a lot of color fringing. That's still a great image. And if you've got a camera of the day with a kit lens, it's going to do even better than that. If you have a camera of the day and you just buy yourself a little 24 millimeter pancake lens, you're not going to have that color fringing at all. So while it's nice to have a $2,000 camera, I have one. Uh, the Canon Rebel series, I don't know what Nikon has, but your entry level stuff really can do a good job. All these were shot on the Canon SL3. If you're brand new to the photography and you're lucky enough to go out and shoot a picture like that, you're going to be happy with it. And as you learn, you can get better gear if you want. To be honest, I only take my full frame camera out pretty much if I'm going to be hand holding, need a higher ISO, low light, wildlife, shooting elk and deer in the morning, evening, maybe some indoor sports. Other than that, I like carrying this little light SL3 with a couple pancake lenses I got for it and I'm just as happy. And another lesson here is don't just be stuck on your primary the primary time and place you want to shoot and get out and wander a little bit. If I was fought in that crowd, got in there, got my tripod up, I would have gotten a nice picture, but it would have been a picture that 300 other people had instead of just a picture that one other person had. But really get out, explore. Don't be afraid of the gear you got. You can do great with entry level stuff, hone your craft, and then down the road, you want to get that expensive gear. Go for it. I said I bought my Canon 6D a couple years ago and it doesn't see as much use as just my little crop frame with a pancake just because it's light. It's got flip screen on it. I don't have to worry about it if I drop it. Been there, done that. You know, it's a good just kind of bang around, get her done camera. All right, that's kind of all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, seeing some of my early work that I don't really like to share too often. If you got something out of this, please hit the like button, share, subscribe, and uh, turn on that bell so you don't miss any future videos. All right, thanks you guys. Have a good one.